Forest Park is Springfield's biggest and most visited park, but not everyone knows its story. Uh, the park was started in 1880, and we were lucky that we had Everett Barney or Greenleaf um, that basically had the, the idea to create and put a, aside the land to uh, start the construction of Forest Park. Warwick Greenleaf and Everett Barney traveled to Europe and saw all the parks throughout the country and decided that Springfield should have its own park. They basically set up the infrastructure by 1920. Every neighborhood had a park. Through the years, Forest Park has had a lot of challenges. And then unfortunately in the 50s and 60s, they didn't manage the park properly and they let the maintenance decline. So the infrastructure of the park was failing. Luckily, the government realized the situation in 1980 and started giving money to the park so it could start fixing the damage. We restored the ponds, we restored the uh, waterway system, so we're slowly uh, bringing the packed park back to how it was back in uh, 1882. They got to keep most of the buildings that were there and the zoo has remained a popular venue since the 1880s. The zoo is the most visited place in Forest Park. It has monkeys, capybaras, cockatoos, and other animals, and the kids love it. It's uh, for the little kids, I think uh, they just love the, to see the barnyard animals and to see the animals that they might see in books, and it just brings that whole experience to life. About 45,000 people go there every year to see the animals. Forest Park is perfect for sports like baseball. It's the only park in Springfield to have a first-class grandstand. The grandstand was built in the 1920s. It replaced one that burned down in roughly 1915. There was a wooden grandstand across the field, and so this brick one was built. The grandstand is part of the recreations they have in Forest Park. We're in the upper part of the park. You have an active recreation for ball games, volleyball, or just general recreation. And then down below is more passive recreation. The passive recreation includes the ponds. Some people say they are the best part of Forest Park. And then for me growing up, we would go down to the duck pond to feed the, the ducks in the wintertime. Jack Walker comes here regularly to exercise, and he loves the park. It's a beautiful local park, a lot of running trails, a little workout area here, and uh, kids love it. And there's a zoo here, there's a playground here, there's a lot of, a lot of things for families. And uh, it's just a great all-around park, well-maintained, safe, and, uh, and beautiful. Even though the park looks beautiful, it still doesn't have enough money to fully restore the park. Uh, we're probably underfunded by about a million dollars a year for everything we would like to do in the park. They have also lost land due to construction and other things occurring in Springfield. They took 15 acres of the park to build I-91, and unfortunately they also took down the Barney Mansion in 1958 to build the Long Hill Ramp. Forest Park still has a long way, but it's a very beautiful place where everyone can enjoy being there. It has everything you need to relax.